What's up, everybody? So today I want to talk about one of my absolute favorite, if not, well, it is my actual favorite 35 millimeter film camera, and that's the Leica M6. So quickly, the story behind this camera, I picked it up a couple years ago, I think like 2016, out in Fort Collins from a guy I met on Instagram named uh, Ashlyn Wang, I believe. Um, but I just found him uh, on Instagram. He said he was, he was selling this camera. I was definitely looking. It was the beginning of a new year. I had some resolution set and uh, just happened to come across this. It just happened to fall into my lap at the perfect time. So I just went ahead, drove out there and swooped it up. So after I picked this up from him, uh, paid for it and everything, I immediately ran back to my car and put a roll of film immediately just threw this camera, popped one in, just got out the car, started walking around for Collins and just shooting. I don't know where that role is or what I ever did with it. Uh, I think I was just testing out the camera to make sure everything was good. Um, but instantly just fell in love with this camera. So the reason I love this camera so much is because before I even knew what film photography even was, I was like, what the heck is 35 millimeter film? Like, what is film? Like, that don't make sense. Like, I know what, like, a movie is but what the heck is film like the actual like paper thing I had no clue what it was and this was like back in what like 2015 14 ish um, I used to follow a bunch of like filmmakers or like youtubers on their like websites and look at their behind the scenes blogs and everything and there's this one specific dude I really liked that I'd always be just in wonder about like his photos they'd be in black and white they'd be grainy I'm just like man what does that look like? It looks so daggone good. And so I never found out what it was, but after I like finally figured out what film was and I started shooting long before I even like picked this up, it clicked with me. I was like, oh, that's film, bruh. Right? Ah, ah. And so like it instantly just like reconnected me and you're like, man, is that why I love this so much? Like, because it's film and it was like kind of like these handcrafted behind the scenes photos and they just had this like intimate kind of personal just look to them and everything and so seeing that really made me just want whatever camera that dude was using I was like whatever you got I want to figure out how to get that and make that look and so eventually found out it was film black and white film Leica and I was just like bro I gotta get me a Leica in six now but before I even pick this up I did actually pick up, um, I think like the year before, I, I'm pretty sure I had an M4 and an M2 that I found like off of eBay. Um, and those cameras were great. Nothing was wrong with them at all. The Leica M2 kind of had like this weird loading process where you had to like actually take out like the spool and like put the film together like outside of the camera and then put it in. And that was fine and all, but it was just like, man, that's, little bit of like a lot of work so I wasn't feeling at that too much so I picked up the M4 because at the time I couldn't afford the M6 and the M4 basically had like the same loading mechanism as the M6 where you just drop the film on there connect it to the reel wind it close it shoot it wrap it and be done see now the cameras don't matter too much but for me the M6 I was so like drawn to it because that was kind of the camera that I looked at like all those behind the scenes photos and kind of was just in the back of my mind during my creative like urges or like journey, you know, I'd always reference like those photos or always look at that behind the scenes stuff or always go look at those blogs. And I was just like, man, bro, like there's something about this that like makes me want to create. And so yeah eventually like years later because like i've been following that dude forever um or like other people like that i've been following them forever and just always seeing these photos and just had no clue what this mystery camera was but pretty much whenever i picked this up instantly fell in love with it and i've put just a countless amount of rolls through this camera so the reason i like like the cameras and i do have like other film cameras i've gone through a bunch of different film cameras from like really cheap unnamed unbrand i don't even know what the heck they were um and i've created like cool photos with them all great photos with them all uh, but the reason i like this leica so much is because of simplicity in the camera it doesn't do too much it doesn't go above 
a thousandth of a shutter speed. Um, it doesn't uh, have a bunch of like self timer mechanisms and stuff like that. Basically, it just has your shutter speed, your aperture, ISO control, a light meter, and then bang, bang, click the photo, you know. Um, and that's what I love. It's just, it breaks down all that unnecessary stuff on a camera. You know, some of it is necessary. Even the stuff you see on like digital cameras today. But what was on here was just so unique because it just took all that away and just kind of broke down the process and said, point the camera, expose it right, and shoot the photo. That's it. Don't worry about all these other settings, all these other fast shutter clicks, how many photos you can shoot a second. Just pick up the camera and just shoot it. Just carry it everywhere and just shoot it. Also with Leicas, they hold their value. Um, my M2 and M4 I have, I pretty much resold those for just as much as I paid for them, if not like a little more, a tiny bit less. Um, and the older they are, the more brassier they are, the more value um, these cameras hold. I love the quietness of the camera. I love the look of the camera. And I love like the looks I get when I'm like walking around with the camera and like set it down and be like, you like that, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you like that, but <laughs> And I also love like the absolutely massive lens variety with this camera. Uh, right now I use all Voigtlander lenses. Um, I have had a few Leica lenses. I've had the 50 millimeter and I think I had a 35 millimeter a long time ago. That dual range Summicron, let's pay respects right now. If I would not have that Voigtlander, if the dual range Summicron I had worked on this body, for some reason it didn't. My brother-in-law picked up an N6, and the dual range uh, 50 millimeter worked perfectly. I don't know why, but it pisses me off. And I still have that camera. I always slung it on my M4. It's a beautiful lens. If you, if you can cop a uh, 50 millimeter dual range and it works on your body, definitely pick it up. But again, I just love the, the huge lens variety. I have Voigtlander lenses. I've used the 35, two of the 35s, the 50, and this 28, and they've done wonders. That being said, there's all different types of brands of lenses you can buy. If you want to stay elite and get them like a lenses, go for it. Like, that's you. I ain't got no money like that. But uh, that's why I stick with the Voigtlanders. They're kind of like mid range and just the quality. The price is mid range, the quality is like high end. Uh, so that's what I really love about these bodies and just like the variety of lenses that you can put on these cameras. Another thing I really love about this camera is just its ease of use. Um, like I said before, just quickly just dialing in your ISO and just leaving it set, not worrying about bumping it because it's connected to the shutter speed dial or anything like that. Um, the quick adjustment of the shutter speed dial the aperture ring and all that and just like the different focusing knobs on different lenses absolutely great i can seriously almost operate this camera like without looking at it uh if i shot more photos with this thing um every year like i'm pretty sure at this point i'd be able to completely operate it without using it and like when i'm out shooting on the streets i like to do like a lot of zone focusing so being able to be just so quick with this range finder um is absolutely amazing and the rangefinder is another thing just i love about this camera it doesn't have a mirror so it's not loud it's nice and quiet nice and discreet nice and quick and, you know when i'm taking photos of people they can still see my face so i don't be looking like you know a creep behind the camera just like you know my, <laughs> my face be like uh, halfway exposed so i can just snap the photo and you know kind of keep a little smile on and be like hey bye what's that i take a uh, photo of you girl I don't act like that, <laughs> but that's another just reason I love this camera so much. I shoot absolutely everything on this lens from stuff in just bright light settings, even though you can only go up to like a thousandth of a shutter. And then I shoot down in very low dim lit settings at up to like four, a fourth of a second at F2, you know, since you don't have that mirror in there, the camera just has so little shapes. You can just kind of set it on an obstacle if you're just sturdy enough you can just hold the camera and just shoot which is absolutely amazing one last thing i did pick this up as well because opposed to the m4 and 2 and 3 and all that because it had the light meter um i just wanted that in my camera kit you know carrying around a light meter is not always just like the most fun thing to do even though like it 
definitely like always gives me great results carrying around that light meter but this light meter in here is so accurate so good it's a spot focus light meter um and it just it rarely ever fails me i always when i'm exposing you know you have the two lines on the left and the right i usually just overexpose it like one stop or two stops and the photos come out just perfectly fine um it's just a matter of just like shutter speed and just like camera shake or like subject uh, in the frame shaking but other than that very dependable light meter like out of like a hundred percent out of five stars I'd rate this light meter like a 4.9999 so if you have a favorite camera you know just don't ever sell it hold on to it shoot it carry it around with you everywhere take it with you on your uh, family vacations and whatnot even if you're not shooting a lot with it, just take it out every once in a while and just roll, run a roll through it, you know. Um, I absolutely love this camera. It's one of the best cameras I've ever used, if not the best camera I've ever used. Uh, so with that being said, till next time.